Okay, so good day everyone. We will now solve an example of Cartesian vector. So, in this problem, so let's read the problem first. If the coordinate direction angles alpha is equal to 112 degrees, beta is equal to 75 degrees, and az is equal to 5.0 cm, determine the magnitude and the Cartesian vector A. So, here, this is the drawing for our problem. And if you will look here, our vector A is lying on negative X, positive Y, and positive Z. So, if we will take note on its uh, angles, since it's lying on positive and negative x so we assume that so alpha here should be higher than 90 degrees which is correct because the given angle here of alpha is equal to 112 degrees while for beta since for since our vector a is lying on positive y so we expect our beta is less than 90 degrees and based on the given beta is just 75 degrees which is less than 90 and here, we have the gamma. Gamma is not given, but we expect that gamma is less than 90. Okay? So, since gamma is not given, but its component AZ is given, which is 5 cm. So, we will use this given to find the magnitude and the Cartesian vector A. So, the first thing we have to do in solving this one is let's complete the, the given. So, that is, if this is alpha, we have to, fo to find AX. If we have beta, we have, the, we have to also find AY or to complete our unknowns. Because we will use this to find the Cartesian vector in which... Cartesian vector can either be, so AX, I hat, plus AY, J hat, plus AZ, K hat. And since AZ are, is already known, so our problem will be find AX and AY. So, let's try to solve it. Since gamma here is unknown, and alpha and beta are known, we can again use here the identity in which, that is cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma is equal to 1. And from our previous problem, we already have the formula for gamma there. So, we will just uh, copy it. So, that will be gamma is equal to r cosine square root of 1 minus cosine squared alpha minus cosine squared beta and let's substitute the given so that will be 1 minus cosine 112 degrees squared minus cosine 75 degrees squared so I expect an angle here that is less than 90. So, the answer is, okay. So, the answer is 27.09 degrees. So, definitely this is the answer, okay. Unlike what we did last time, we get the opposite one, which is we subtract the 180 minus your answer of gamma, okay. But here, we will uh, use this as our answer because this is less than 90, okay. So, that is 27.09 degrees. Okay? So, uh, since we already know it's gamma and AZ, we can use this actually to find the magnitude because in finding the Cartesian vector, A, we need to solve for the magnitude times its unit vector to have the Cartesian vector of this. So, so, since we already completed the gamma and AZ, I can solve here what is the magnitude of our vector A because we need that in solving your unit vectors because you, you can solve unit vectors here but we don't know what is A. So, so let's find first, find A. So, that is magnitude and we will use our formula for cosine 
gamma is equal to AZ over A. Okay, so that is our formula for R gamma. And if we want to know what is A, so if you want to know what is A, so that is A is equal to AZ over cosine gamma. And let's substitute, so that is 5CM divided by cosine 27.09 degrees. So, the answer for our magnitude, 5.62 cm. So, that is your magnitude for your vector A. Now, uh, remember, this is in cm because our vector A here is a displacement. It's not a force but a displacement, okay? Since we have here the magnitude, we can now proceed to find the unit vector. So, so to find unit vector, find u. So, we are just going to use the uh, formula, the second formula, in which that is cosine alpha i hat plus cosine beta j hat plus cosine gamma k hat. And that will be, let's substitute the given cosine 112 degrees i hat plus cosine 75 degrees j hat plus cosine 27.09 degrees k hat so the unit vector is that is negative 0 0.37 okay 74 so that is 7 i hat then cosine 75 plus 0 0.26 j hat. Then cosine 27.09. That is positive 0 0.89 k hat. Now we now have our unit vector u. And we will now proceed to solve now what is our a. So for Cartesian vector, we can now have a is equal to a u or a magnitude times the unit vector and the magnitude we will use this one so that is 5.62 cm and this is our unit vector negative 0 0.37 i hat plus 0 0.26 j hat plus 0 0.89 k hat so our cartesian vector now is 5.62 times negative 0.37 so that is negative 2.08 i hat then 5.62 times 0.26 so that is positive 1.46 j hat and lastly 5.62 times 0.89 and that is 5 positive 5 Point zero zero k hat and the unit of this is cm which is a displacement and that will be now our final answer for our cartesian vector okay so i hope that is clear